Good morning, children. This video is for anyone who is working in the Pharaoh group. Here is your Fluent in Five starter, so please pause the video now and answer the questions. And here are your answers. So today's learning, children, we are going to be still reading and interpreting tables through problem solving and reasoning. So we're going to do, we we'll look at this first question. The table below shows a number of minutes spent on a different activities, on different activities by five children in a year. So we've got five children here and the different activities, washing, homework, sleeping. And the answer is in minutes. It says here, create three questions about the data. Make sure you include the answers. Now, we could do some very simple questions by I working out um, which child did the most amount of, the, spent the most amount of time sleeping. And we could look at, by find out the, the largest number. So we'll do that as one question. Which child spent the most amount of time sleeping so we're going to look and our answer so we can look here we're looking at comparing numbers so we can see that all three uh, all five numbers have got six digits so we're going to look at the this column here so we've got the hundred thousand column here okay so we've got one, 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 two, and two. Now two is greater than one, so we know these numbers are gonna be smaller. So we're gonna look at these two. Now, because they've got the same digit here, we'll go to the next column. And we can see that one is greater than zero. So Ruka slept the most. Now, that's a very simple question, but I want you to push yourself. Try to think of questions that are more than one step. So where it might require you to do addition and then subtraction. It might require you to do to do multiplication or division if you want to convert the amount of minutes into hours. So we're going to do a addition and uh, subtraction one. So we're going to look at, we're going to see did so we're gonna, we can we could do a question that looks at okay so we'll be looking to write it as who did the most washing and homework All together. So this question would require us to add this figure and this figure together for each person. Now I'm not going to do five lots of calculations because this video will go on for a very long time. So we will, I will what I'm going to do is look for my purpose sake is just look at the numbers and add them together to see if I can estimate, guess which would be the greatest. Now I can see that, I'm gonna look at the thousand columns because they're all, the largest digit is in the thousand columns. So seven plus five is 12, six plus three is nine. So this is the greatest so far, potentially. Eight plus eight is 16,000. So that's the highest now. Seven plus 10 is 17,000 and five plus, is 8,000. So I know it's going to be between the, these two. I've said that 17 is greater, but we what I'd like to do is just use two calculation methods just to work out. So we're going to do 8,811.5, add 8,322 
and then we've put a zero there to act as a placeholder. So five plus zero is five, one plus two is three, don't forget the decimal point. One plus two is three, eight plus three is 11, eight plus eight is 16, plus one is 17,000. So this does have 17,000. We need to add the other two numbers to see if it's greater. So 10,543 add 7,321. So our answer, we'll add these together now. Three plus one is four, four plus two is six, five plus three is eight, zero plus seven is seven, one plus nothing is one. So we can see that 17,864 is greater than 17,133.5. So our answer would be, sorry, so we've got a, two calculations there that allow us to answer the question. You could use a subtraction question on top of this question, which could say, what was the difference between these the, the two highest uh, figures? So if that was the case, what was the difference? We'd be looking at subtraction. We would subtract these two numbers together, take away 17,133.5. As you can see, we would need to put zero just so the, the calculations, the numbers lined up and we've got a value for the zero, the, the five to be taken away from. Now we can't do zero take away five here because five is greater than zero. So we exchange, 10 take away five is five, three take away three is zero, six take away three is three, eight take away one is seven, seven take away seven equals zero, and one take away one equals zero. So the answer for the difference is 7,305. So really, when you're doing this question here, really go outside the box, try to think of questions that involve multiple steps. So the next question here is the table below shows the fastest speeds, kilometers per hour recorded over three races. So we've got our three races here and then each race, how quickly they went, their fastest speeds. So in race three, the fastest speed was 241.1 kilometers an hour. So we've got here our uh, our race three because we're looking at that only. They said the fastest speed was 241.1 kilometer hour. So we've got 241.1 kilometer hour there, 233.6 kilometer per hour. This is greater than that number because four is greater than three. We'll look at our third speed by Barry Zuma, and he's got 241.5. Now. If we look at in our hundreds, the two and the two is the same. The tens, four and four tens in both. And in our ones is one and one. So they're both the same speed. But if we go to our temps, one is less than five. So do we agree? We're going to say disagree as five temps is greater than one tenth. And therefore, 241.5 kilometers per hour is the greatest speed, is the fastest speed. Number six, Zane records how many people visit a museum over three years. So we've got our figures there. More women than men visited the museum. So we need to add up these three numbers and these three numbers. And we're gonna see which, which number is the greatest. That's what we need to do here. So we're gonna do that right now. So we've got 154,610 for year one in men, then 100. 59,175 in year two and 203,366. Now it's really important 
Now, when we're adding these numbers together, we are taking our time and we're making sure we get each one correct. One mistake and the whole calculation will be wrong. Zero plus five is five plus six is 11. Make sure you're carrying that one across. One plus seven is eight, plus six is 14, plus one is 15. Six plus one is seven, plus three is 10, plus one is 11. Four plus nine is 13, plus three is 16, plus one is 17. Five plus five is 10, plus zero is still 10, plus one is 11. 1 plus 1 equals 2, plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. So we've got 517,151 men. Now we're just going to go over here and add the, the women's, the figures for the women and see which one is, see if Zane is correct, that more women than men visited the museum. So we're going to add 159,244, 211,292, and 199,420. And as I said, we're going to add these together. 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 0 is still 6. 4 plus 9 is 13, plus 2 is 15. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus another 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 9 is 19. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 9 is 15, plus 1 equals 16. 1 plus 2 is 3 plus another one is four, plus another one is five. So our answer here for women is 569,956. Now if we were to just write that, if we were just have a look at these two figures here, we've got 517,151, 569,956. Now in our 100,000 column, five is in is the five is in the same is five is in both the hundred thousand column so we can't compare but if we look at the ten thousand column the six here and the one there six is greater than one so zane is correct okay zane is correct and um, as there, as just trying to find the best way to write it. Zane is correct, as there was approximately. No, we're not going to write that. Sorry. Now we're going to write Zane is correct. And we're going to use our figures here to show to explain that's why because we because we can explain that 517,151 is smaller than 569,956 because the 10,000 here is smaller than the 6,000. That's your input for today so please now go to your task sheet and answer the questions. Best of luck.